I decided to walk up the stairs as opposed to try to <laughs> conquer the, the platform. It'd be a really embarrassing opportunity here if I, uh, my very first time here in LA to stumble up the uh, platform. So um, thank you for coming. My name is Denise Gray. I am the director of Energy Storage Systems for General Motors. I have the uh, honor and privilege to have under my responsibility all the batteries for General Motors when it comes to hybrids and range extended electric vehicles. So um, my uh, workload ranges from the Malibu that you saw down the way earlier today through the Tahoe, um, the nickel metal hydride that's in our Silverado, and now as we walk to uh, the lithium iron, uh, the lithium ion technology for the Chevy Volt. So thanks a lot for being here. I want to give you a brief, very brief status on where things are. Um, advanced battery technology, um, this is a familiar chart that a lot of the uh, chemists use, the Riconi chart, to try to establish that there are two main attributes of batteries. One is power and one is energy. Um, the batteries that are in our, um, our hybrid batteries down the way are power batteries. The battery that we need for our Chevy Volt has to have power and energy, and that is where the biggest challenge is, having both attributes available for the vehicle. Uh, much of the focus over time has been mainly, like I said, in the, batter in the power batteries, the charge sustaining batteries, but as we move forward to lithium ion, lithium ion batteries and range, uh, extended range electric vehicles, we need both of those, and that truly is the biggest challenge. <laughs> Um, there will be challenges to, uh, to get over as far as the sales to meet the overall requirements that we have from a life, from a durability, uh, making sure that the battery and the vehicle can live in the hottest places in Phoenix as well as the coldest places in uh, campus casing. We've got to make sure that we can engineer the design to meet all of those requirements. And of course, of course, cost for initial designs for break, uh, uh, groundbreaking technology always costs a little bit more in the beginning than it will over time. And so we've got to make sure we deal with those issues as well. Okay, I think we gave you a preview of where we were with our, um, our contracts. Back in the early part of the year, May, June time frame, we set out to um, engage the entire supply base on helping us to develop this battery for the Chevy Volt. We sent out a requirements document to 27 companies. We gave them all of our requirements and the goal was to enlist them in helping us create this battery. When that process went through, we ended up with 13 proposals from a number of different suppliers. And again, we had suppliers that were pack system folk and we had some um, companies that were just cell suppliers. And a lot of those had to team up in order to come up with the ultimate pack. We ended up selecting two suppliers. One Continental, made it up with uh, 8123 lithium iron phosphate cells, and the other Compact Power Incorporated, a subsidiary of LG Chem. And uh, they're using their own um, design from an overall cell perspective. Those two suppliers have been working feverishly with my development team working through those requirements back and forth, trying to understand exactly how do we create this battery that will give us all of the various requirements. And so we've got uh, both of those going on and we actually received our very first battery. It was delivered to my laboratory in Warren, Michigan um, on Halloween, October 31st. And luckily it was a treat, it wasn't a trick. We actually got the real thing. And so uh, it was brought into our laboratory Everybody was ecstatic because there was months and months of work going, um, had to happen in order to bring that to fruition. But yet there's months and months of work yet to uh, continue to work through that process. Um, a little while ago, Bob Lutz quoted, breakthrough battery technology will drive future automotive propulsion and the company that aligns the best strategic partners will win. And truly, we've been working extremely hard to make this a collaborative, a collaborative effort because it's going to take the OEM, it's going to take GM, as well as the supply base to really pull this off. 
The technology is capable. There's all kind of data that says that lithium, lithium ion can provide us what we need, but there's a lot of work we need to do to make sure that we can meld that theoretical activity into practical activity and be able to build these batteries with the quality that we must have in order to build this Chevy Volt. At this time, I'd like to bring Tony back up for closing comments. So part of the journey that we've gone through is a learning process. Um, we've gone through uh, learning from you, with you, as well as through the development exercise of the last year. We've learned from customers. We've got a tremendous amount of response and feedback. So uh, <clears throat> we feel confident to make the following statements. What we've learned is, with some good positive news, but as Denise indicated, still much work to do, that this is engineering, things that we have done in the past, not absolute invention. It's a lot of engineering. It will require some very skilled men and women at General Motors to help deliver what we've promised. But we think uh, it is well within our, our gun sight to make this happen. This uh, environment um, that we, we are working in, in this really dynamic, highly charged time frame with advanced technology and environmental concerns and geopolitical events, is certainly dynamic. It is a dynamic environment. We're all learning here as, as we go forward. And uh, this is one of the reasons why we're, we're very transparent in engaging people through this process. Part of this dynamic environment requires us to execute a high quality vehicle that meets and exceeds our customer requirements and our own high standards, but also requires uh, assistance and help. And many of you can assist in that process, if you will, by educating the public, communicating our story, um, alleviating myths and the like, and stop calling this vehicle plug-in hybrid. <laughs> Extended range electric vehicle. It's very different and it's very important that we make that distinction because, as we indicated, the difference is hundreds of gallons of fuel saving from one vehicle to the next per year. Hundreds of gallons times tens of thousands of vehicles makes a difference. That's what we're about. We'd like to make a difference in General Motors. We've taken a big risk. And um, we uh, hope you enjoy being part of the journey with us. <laughs>